my, first, my, my earliest days of, of motorcycling, I was a toddler. My dad used to put me on top of the tank. I have photos of me when I was on, or my dad does when I tank of his motorcycles. You know? But I grew up around them. You know, I remember, you know, certain guys from certain outlaw clubs coming to the house. My dad was never involved in any of that stuff, you know. They all had respect for him. I need to, I built my first bike for myself. You know, I actually start to finish. Back in the 50s, you'll see early photos of Porky and his guys, you know. Chicano bikers were different because they, they dressed real suave, real clean, clean cut. They weren't the grungy, I don't want to shower, you know. They, they were all creased down, penaltons. You know, the whole thing was, of course, for the women, you know, but their whole style and their style was, you know, they spit shine their shoes. And they took care of what they had. The traditional biker that we perceive as the big bearded guy who didn't shower and greasy jeans, you know, and had this look, you know, and that, was, that wasn't the case in the East LA culture. You know, there was no interweb, so, you know, everything had to, you know, you actually had to think about what you were going to do. There was no reference. And there was guys, you know, in different places that were building the same style bikes and had never met. So um, I just thought it was more creative back in the days than it is now. Because you can see something and copy it. And to me, that's not, that's not creativity. The whole engineering and, and the whole design back when Porky and those guys were doing it was definitely, you know, the, the style and the innovation that they did is stuck to this day. I think that's kind of unique. And that's a feat in itself because where would you come up with the idea to do something like that if there was no reference? You know, I've, I've seen some stuff that dates back to the 1800s and I'm like, yeah, there had to be some good peyote or acid or something where they actually wake up in the morning and go, wow, you know, that's cool, you know, I'm in the middle of France or in the middle of Italy, hey, let's do this bitchin' cathedral, you know, or the pyramids, or, you know, to me that's, that's intriguing, you know. So, um, do I put por Porky and, you know, the earlier builders in that category? Of course I do. I, I, I'll put them alongside the guys that designed the fucking pyramids, because, you know, those guys were, you know, innovators in what they did.